Ah, good day of you as well. Got my little solar set up here, or set up ready. I got some um, bursted up at storage there. I got some extra uh, two, 35 amp hour, uh, 28 amp hour batteries there. Panasonic, these are near new, so I'm gonna, um, eventually I'm gonna get some more cable. I'm gonna neaten up this cable mess because you're not gonna get much efficiency out of pissy little jumper leads to run an inverter like that. All these little tiny, low current capable leads are just temporary. Because I'm not pulling a lot of current to this anyway, I just set and mine the batteries while I, so I don't sit and just waste away doing nothing and go bad. That's why I put them on the solar thing, just so I can plug on these batteries. So actually, uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste away doing nothing. But eventually I'm going to replace the uh, wire leg on those two big batteries down there with some proper heavy gauge stuff to go to that inverter. And I've just set up a little off-grid system in here. Charging small things, USB, batteries, laptops, uh, stereo there, I scored. Charging everything else, 18650s, whatnot, can all be done off the grid now, so. I recently picked up this in the local uh, recycling center. Works quite well, the uh, turntable was a basket case, so the only stadium was completely messed up. Just didn't like any other cartridge, even the one that was on it was an 1891 uh, Audio Technica. Put an 1895 on there, still had the same problem. Put this Darling one on there, and it's perfect. I just had to um, put the anti skating somewhere in the middle. So it still has, a, it still skates, but with this cartridge it's fine. Had to change it, put that Darling in between the tour on there so it can compensate for the skating and it runs fine now. So nice, uh, fully automatic to the D, uh, Belt chip and turntable works good. This thing has a short wave as well, that's why I picked it up. So nice, gotta get that. Everything works fine on it too. It's a nice um, stereo that. Works really well, so I got it in here. There were plus other heap of garbage that was here on those speakers. Didn't come on the speakers, but never went out there when I looked. But it runs quite well, it's quite a nice old little stereo from the mid to late 80s, that one. Okay, got this turntable here. Making a nice recording in an old Chrom Dioxy Type 2 uh, BASF cassette. Picked up Harry Styles' new album. Nice, uh, quite a nice, um, quite a nice record. Has some good songs. And this is a 1891 or AT3 whatever it is, it's the same thing. That was actually the original one on that uh, other turntable, which, um, let's just say, when I found it, the side of the cartridge, beside the needle, the, was sitting on here, on the rim, and it been just left like that, grinding away at the side of the cartridge. Because of these audio technical ones, you've got that little knob on the side there, there's like a little bump on the side. I think it's just in case you over, overweight them or put too much tracking force or something on them. There's about half a mil taken off of that, off the original needle that was on this cartridge. It's a red one, which is on the other, on another turntable. The needle itself is fine. The counter level was a bit bent, but I straightened it out and just eyeballed it and it got it perfectly straight. I did have older a new needle to replace it, but it, it does work fine. I just use it on um, crappier records at the moment. It does uh, play fine. The side of the cartridge there's about half a mil taken off the side of it on the edge of the platter. Had to clean all the plastic mess up. But this uh it's quite a nice needle that. I didn't have a, um you know, I didn't have a other it didn't um quite uh that's not it's it's fine but the canyon lever is a bit floppy. The tracking force is correct but it almost bottoms out so it's been um the uh Back of the canyon lever, it's just the mount's just gone squishy and it just it bottoms out too easily, even with the correct tracking weight, tracking force. It's um, about half a mil clearance between the little knob there and the record, so it's still fine. But um, no, that's just the only turntable I'm going to use it on, on this one, because this has got the perfect precision. And the other turntable, it bottoms out like crazy, so it's staying on this one. I got the autophone in there as a spare, the audio, auto front OM10 as a spare. But the, um, I initially thought this cartridge had something wrong with it, because it was just crackly, but there's nothing wrong with it, so. You get a lot of problems with um, record players and your skating and things like that, but. Anyway, let's uh, continue this uh, recording. 
if I can get some copyright royalty free records so I can do videos like this at a time. It's quite uh, fun to watch these. The speakers sound beautiful, these JBLs. They come out amazing. Continue the recording. Should fit in the tape, hopefully. That's awesome. That should fit the tape. That should fit about. Oh, I reckon it's about. The first three songs, maybe, or two songs. Normally, I can fit two records per side of a side of a cassette, depending on the recording. This one may like to be fit, so. Most of the time, the, you know, I'll fit four records on a cassette. Anyway, here's a little play area now my son's taken hold of. <laughs> here's a little spoiled lot. This thing works nicely. By Russian shuttle. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't get much off uh, on there. I can't get much on the other bands off the grid. It just makes too much RFI. I've got to plug this thing off grid power so for shortwave and AM performance. Yeah. Going to a cocktail party. Go on. That's what I was, oh, I've cleared it all. You won't see it now. The side of this has just got a slight mark on it. Oh, really? Do they do cheap bintang? You see remnants, so I'll take this man off. Probably see remnants of a mark here. That pink sort of mark there. It's what's left of the um, head. Uh, body of the needle there. It's a funny one, I've seen it, but it had been left like that and someone just left it running for a long period of time grinding away. You can see there's a needle that come off it. Just, and the camera's not going to pick it up, but that's the original needle there. Kind of see at the left side of it, it's shorter than the other side here. You see that side of it, it's kind of flattened out more on the machine down. I've never seen anything like it. So that was some of kids play with it or something. But they just left it like that and just used it as it is and left it on. Never touched the turntable, just let it go. <laughs> I've never seen that. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.